Hello, I'm uh, Brandon Hasty. I work for Bach North America. And here at Bach, we had some challenges uh, over the years of, of basically we had to, to reduce our electricity and the amount of, of, of usage that we've had over the years. Bach North America is, uh, we, we produce um, office furniture and office furniture components, over a million, million square feet of manufacturing space in, in Germany and China as well. Here at, uh, in North America, we're about 86,000 square feet. Um, we have uh, about 18 injection molding machines where we, we produce high quality um, office furniture components for and, and whole chairs for, for companies throughout North America, the US and, and Mexico. We decided to, to monitor most of our equipment using, the, uh, using these modules. Um, it was very easy to install. Once those machines and once those, uh, those modules were in place, the, the data just started rolling in and um, we can see it in real time and we can set alarms to, to see whether we're at a tolerance as far as uh, how much uh, current draws on each machine, you know, set the pace for, for what, we were, what we were trying to achieve and how, how, it, was, uh, how it was so relevant to, to our end goals. It plays a big role in, in when I am doing a curtailment event. Um, because I'm able to, to monitor each piece of equipment individually and see where my, my, my most usage is. And when that happens, I'm, I'm able to take individual pieces of equipment offline and know how much, um, you know, how much each piece of equipment is, is, is contributing to that, to that peak. Um, I, I find it's a, very, it's a very handy tool, it's easy to use, um, and it, it's very user friendly. That reporting blew my mind it was it was so much more than i had than i originally anticipated and um it has really been um been a helpful a helpful tool in reporting to my upper management definitely um having that monitoring at a granular level where everything is uh, everything is being monitored it really it gives you an overall snapshot of, of what um where the energy is being used and and how you can you can utilize it better um it keeps you on track and it keeps you at, at a, you know, at a, at a, at a level where it's, it's real. I just like to, you know, to put forth the thanks for, you know, for helping out. And as much as, you know, I'm, I'm a guy that's difficult to get a hold of um, and, a, you know, I'm a busy, busy guy, but it certainly has made my life easy um, as far as, uh, you know, the, the energy monitoring is concerned and, and, and the energy management uh, portion of it that, that has come about from just small changes, not massive massive changes and and not a lot of the investment hasn't we haven't had to invest millions and millions of dollars to be able to save you know uh, thousands and thousands hundreds of thousands of dollars um, and it, it really plays a big part in in our everyday running and our everyday workings of of the you know of the plant you get that notification or before we even had the notification you would be online online constantly looking for updates and and I don't have that now. It comes directly to my phone. The amount of, of savings that we have um, this year, we're on track for over 100 dollars to $120,000 in energy savings um, this year. Our peak dem demand factor lowered by over 40%. Um, which is amazing. When I when I head out into the industry to look for monitoring equipment, um, I feel like the 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 best part of Edgecom's um, energy monitoring equipment in comparison to others is the ease of installation, rapidness of data download, of how much information is available and how quickly, um, and accuracy. It, it it really played a big factor. The the investment was was not massive um, to have a system that with other companies would cost six, eight, ten times as much. And it just, it really was, was the ease of, of installation and how it's just out of sight, out of mind. It's running in the background all the time and data is key. If you're not measuring, you have no idea what's happening.